Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today guys, finally picking up the M3 from the shop and we're finally getting to work on this car. So I've been super busy with schoolwork and honestly, I have a lot of schoolwork. I probably should have put gel or something. Anyways, ah oh man. Been too busy with school recently, but I'm gonna just make time for it today. I'm gonna do my schoolwork. Let's just say after 10, which is still early in the day. We're still at like, I think like 10. Uh, 10 in the morning. I'm gonna go pick up my car, get it home, show you guys the 335, and then go ahead and start working on Project Daily. I wanna go ahead and sand this entire car. We are actually considering and possibly painting it. We've never learned how to paint before, but me and my brother were like, you know what, this is a car that we should probably learn how to paint on. We know every little thing about this car. Why not attempt to try to paint it something that's pretty dope? We can start off with the bumpers. If that doesn't go right, you know, we can sand down, redo it. And of course, we'll start with the front bumper as well because we don't even know if we wanna keep that front bumper. That bumper is probably one of the the ugliest bumpers I've ever seen on any chassis. I just hate that bumper so much. So yeah, worst comes to worst, the bumper goes bad, whatever, whatever. We just get a new bumper wrapped in the car, but that's absolute worst. Let me know what you guys think about that. Anyway, I need my energy for the morning. Cliff bars, I love these things. I don't know if you guys ever tried them, but they are good. They are a good source of protein. They taste good, and they're a good breakfast, like all in one. Well, good morning. That's a beautiful light to see in the morning. Oh, man. Ah, uh, let's pull over and see what it is. Ah, uh, yeah, I just got a light. This ain't looking too good, boys. Let's just go ahead and pull over real quick. All right, so that's how the front rim, yeah, actually, that does look kind of kind of low compared to this one. It's not too low, though. I think I can drive it. So, yeah, it doesn't look crazy low. I'm going to go ahead and pick up uh, Devon and then go ahead. I'm going to find um, a place we can put some air in these tires. I just needed to get us to point A, and then uh, if we need to tow this sucker home, pick up my M3, that's what we're gonna have to do, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully we get there, no problem. Just a broke kid that doesn't really know shit, but that was it. Guys, it doesn't even feel like it has a flat tire. I don't really know what's going on. Maybe the, the TPMS sensor itself is shot. We're gonna find out when we get there. Oof, Project X, Project X5. The Genesis. What's going on, brother? It's finally a day I can hold my camera. Look at that vlog squad. <laughs> What's going on, bro? What's up, guy? Dude, so what So what did you do to this recently? Kind of. I didn't re-clear it. That's a different trunk, right? It's the same trunk. Really? It's, it's like a whole new trunk. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't even see this guy. <laughs> you like blended in with the cement. Oh my lord. Okay, so where are we where are we looking at here? Um dang. Dude, but the wheel looks it's sitting a lot better, isn't it? Oh, that's a weird. Oh really? <laughs> I was say, this thing looks mint. Oh yeah, but this is drivable. Yeah. Yeah, I've been I drove it. Oh really? Yeah. It's just probably just more tire wear, but other than that. I'm gonna see if Devon can help me with this real quick. Um Saying I only have 21 PSI in that tire. I don't know what's up. I'm gonna go ahead and reset it. Yeah, 22 PSI. The rest of the rims are like 38 PSI. This one's like 22. Yeah, 22. Is it actually? Yeah. Dang. All right, guys. So I think what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and drive his 335 because it's ready. It's ready to be driven. Um, and then after that, we're gonna head over, probably put some air in this tire, and then go pick up the M3. But yeah, let's check out the 335. It's way too loud. Holy shit. So I'm gonna go ahead and drive his car. I guess if you guys wanna see my experience, it's gonna be on his channel. I can record on yours too. Or both of them, you never know. Alrighty, boys. Damn, I need to move, bro. You sit way, look at you. <laughs> Almost as good as my Genesis. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> this thing is way too nice. God, <laughs> it's making me regret not even tuning my 335 before I sold it. I was just too scared that. No, yeah, guys, the reason I didn't tune mine is because I knew I was actually going to end up selling it because I wanted the M3, but. Now it's making me kind of regret it. I just didn't want to blow my turbos. If I would have blew my turbos, my whole plan would have went south. So, I mean, as long as you don't go burble tune, dude, you already have burbles. Like yeah. you don't need a burble That's tune. Beautiful. You're more than fine. That is so sick. Anyways, we're gonna head down. We need to put some. Uh, we need to put some air in these tires. Once we get the air in the tires, we gotta head over, pick up the M3, finally bring her home. Cause uh, I'm super hyped for that. Oh. 
So I asked her and she actually was super mad. Bro, she was fine and then she gave me an attitude. What? Yeah. For what? Because I was like, can you open the air? And she's like, make sure you press the button when you're out there. Alright, uh, this one right here. 33. By the way, guys, if it says $1.50, you don't have to pay for it. Air is free in California. Just go tell them. Alright, guys, the tire light went away, but my dad said that he did fill it up like two days ago, so I'm assuming we gotta fly. But it should at least get us to point A, and then uh, we'll figure out point B later. <laughs> my lord let me see her all right guys so i don't know how i'm gonna get my car out but uh let's check it out it's gucci <laughs> finally okay perfect Dude, that, it's more buttery than this right now <laughs> that's not gonna last long dang all right finally so they got that fixed up guys so that's pretty much the only fall that was with the paint now it's perfect um so yeah pretty much the whole paint is perfect i'm going to put on the tail light driver home but also these side markers i they were supposed to have got it done for me let me see if they did Guys, I can't even find my turn signals. Did they, where did my turn signals go? At this point, I'm gonna go inside and see where my turn signals are at. I actually can't find them anywhere, so I'm gonna need those. They were supposed to paint them black, so I'm hoping they did exactly that. All right, guys, I'm super stoked. We got the M3 back. Let's go ahead and go home, and uh, we'll talk to you guys what we're gonna be doing once we get back. All right, guys, my favorite tunnel. Let's go ahead, turn on the music, set you guys on my lap. Y'all ready for this? Alright guys, she is finally back home, looking as gorgeous as usual. I thought I just got a big, big rock chip there. Nope, she's looking fine. So yeah, I think what I'm going to go ahead and do now is put on the two side markers, and then I got to take Devon back home. He's going to be working on his Genesis. So while he's doing his stuff on that, today I'm going to be working on Project Daily, trying to get that worked on as much as possible. I want to get it prepped up because like I told you guys, I actually want to consider painting so I want to wrap it up, paint it, um, do all that good stuff. So yeah, today in this video, I really want to go ahead and sand it. I just want to take Devon back home. He's got some stuff he's got to work on. I got some things we got to work on. And we'll probably get together again on the weekend and show you guys an insane project I've been working on. All right, guys. So these aren't smoked out, which I mean, it probably would have been better if it is. But this is finally all blacked out. I think it looks so sick. Show you guys the other one real quick as well. Yeah, so that looks super good. And then the main thing that he needed to fix on this paint job was right here, this little spot. That's finally fixed. There's a little bit of a gap here, so I'm probably gonna take off the bumper and figure that out myself. But other than that, finally, the paint, the body, everything on this car is nearly perfect and it looks so good. Now all this thing needs is two front tires and an alignment, and literally, it would be perfect. That's all it needs. All right, guys, so yeah, we are home, and I just figured out, if you want to paint a car, it's a lot different than wrapping a car. So I can't just sand with like 2,000 grit and then start wrapping. That's not how that stuff works. So I got to go uh, to Walmart, pick up some few supplies, and we head back and get straight to work. Get to the money, the fuck is you thinking? Better safe than sorry. I'd rather just, uh, I'd rather make the walk. All right, guys, we got everything we need. Let's just head back. All right, guys, we are finally home. I guess now it's uh, time for some prepping. Honestly, uh, let's just get to work. Enough talking, North. Let's get it. Alright guys, so I have this thing in my mouth, but uh, basically, yes and see, this side was standing with 220, I mean uh, 60, and then 220. This thing is buttery smooth. Unfortunately, there's some Bondo right here, so it's a little bit wavy, so I will have to use a little bit of Bondo myself. 
This, I don't care if I sand it because they're absolutely disgusting. I don't even know how they got painted, so I'll repaint these myself. But yeah, I mean, for the most part, this thing is insanely smooth now. Really happy about it. I'll go ahead and block sand this 800. I'll probably 600, then 800, or maybe just skip the 800 because it's already buttery smooth. Honestly, 800 is fine. But yeah, I want to show you guys the difference. Normally, I would just go over all this with this 800 and wrap the car. Uh, mainly because it's gonna be wrapped. I really don't care. But we're gonna try to paint it so every little thing I'm trying to sand it out and then worst case like this up a little bit of a Bondo. What's it called? This is other thing you put instead of Bondo. That's a lot better So I'll probably try that. But yeah, I'm gonna take this I'm gonna take you guys on the journey with me See how we can end up painting this whole car. But as of now, let's just keep sanding guys both doors are sanded down uh, just these inner parts I gotta do by hand and also I noticed this dent pretty bad dent so I want to make sure I can fix that you know your boy out here doing above and beyond work so uh, let's go ahead and fix that uh, dent right there It's been about three to four hours and this is what I've got so far. So pretty much this side that had all the Bondo that was super wavy after I sanded it is now pretty dang smooth if I have to say. So I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, okay, I just realized there's one more little spot. I just missed the sand here. I have to go over the hood one more time completely and then I have to order um, some glaze or I have to go to a shop that actually has the proper glaze because I read online that if you get like, some cheap glaze or some cheap whatever when you cover up the whole hood then it will come out really bad. So I'm gonna make sure I get the good stuff here. So we're almost done with the hood. We pretty much got most of it down. This uh, fender right here is sanded down. This door is sanded down. This door with the dent has been fixed and it's sanded down. So we're gonna go ahead and go through with the rest of the car. Hopefully in the next video, try to get the rest of the car done. The hood was primarily the biggest problem because of all the paint chipping and everything and there's a lot of rock chips uh the bumper might even just swap it out so there is a lot of rock chips on the bumper but who really cares i don't think we're gonna keep that oem bumper we might be trying to do our, our, our paint testing on that bumper because why not it's a bumper that we don't really care about but yeah i'm super 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 stoked i've never painted a car before i'm pretty sure you guys are pretty excited to see it as well because i've never done it before i've always i was always curious to see how you do it so i'm sure a lot of you guys are also curious to how you do it but yeah check her out she is ugly that is uh that's a fact so i think i'm gonna actually re uh rename these episodes i'm not gonna be like a project daily episode one mainly because like it's kind of an e90 a lot of you guys have already seen e90 projects on my channel so this is the first project where i'm going to be doing where i'm going to be painting a car i've never done it before i saw the m3 came out at the shop it is absolutely insane if i can do that myself with my future projects i'm pretty sure you guys would be psyched for it so yeah i gotta get this car inside go take a shower i got school tomorrow um hopefully this weekend i should be able to get the rest of the car completely sanded down and then probably even talk about some paint ideas this weekend hopefully there's a lot of things i'm super excited to do but, you know, school is school. What are you gonna do? Dude, the mask really did a toll on me there. Oh boy. Anyway, if you guys are excited to see the rest of this car sanded down, and for me to show you guys pretty much how I go about painting this, make sure to smash the like button. But without further ado, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Don't worry guys, I'm gonna show you every step. Yeah, yeah, let's go. 
I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in circ, cause I wanna have worth.